Oh, they just settle into the fine lines like fine wine. <laughs> and I ain't lying. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you new, it's Sahara. The other day I hot glued all of my two-piece brushes. <laughs> Especially with this brush right here, every time I use some cream bronzer, I'm just using the upper half of it. It's a nice little um, makeup accomplishment though. <laughs> If I'm being completely honest, most of the makeup that I use, I enjoy using it, but there are a few products here and there that I come across that I purchased myself that I did not get along with. Little disclaimer, of course, <laughs> just because I do not like these makeup products does not mean that I dislike the brand, and that's the end of my little disclaimer. <laughs> I put the makeup that I'm going to be showing in today's video over here just so I didn't have to like rearrange everything. By the way, um, for makeup, I do kind of like to tell you what I've used off camera. Um, I don't know, I like to watch me tell myself, tell you guys that I've used this makeup product, so I'm just going to tell you anyway. Oma by Sharon C. One and Done Brow Styler, the number eight. To prime the eyelids, I went in with the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the shade Golden Honey. For eyeshadow, palette I use the Cara Beauty Enchanted Forest palette and I did this like blue smoky eye to kind of match with this bodysuit that I'm wearing today which by the way is from Shein it's a dupe for um skins which I'll link that video right here this matte is like a off off white pinkish shade for the brow bone highlight for the crease this magic collection ocean waves palette from the beauty supply store and I use this shade right here, which is a nice brown, but it looks a little more pink when it hits the skin. This is a matte blue. I thought it kind of went with the top. It looked like um, cotton candy when I applied it to the crease. I mixed in a little bit of this brown right here to deepen it. Now this shimmer definitely looks more like this top. You can see it all across the lid. This matte blue and mixed it in with this matte green right here to do like a smoky liner. And I didn't apply anything on the waterline or the lower lash line. This mini travel size Marc Jacobs Velvet No War Mascara. I have the big one, but um, since I have the small one, I didn't want it to dry out, so I used it. There's something about travel size mascaras that kind of apply it better than a full size one. I use the Ioni lashes in the style Spiky Dual Light. I didn't use an actual primer. I went in like with a primer mist. And I use the CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist. But the mist is just like out there. With the CoverGirl Outlast Active foundation that kind of goes with the um, mist. And this is in the shade 862 a Natural Tan. For concealer under the eyes, I use the Kylie Jenner Concealer in the shade Oak. To set the face in under, well, before I set it, I went in with cream bronzer and I used the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Blaze. Now to set everything, I went in with the Beauty Bakery Flower Bitter Not, Better Not Bitter Powder in the shade Yellow. You can definitely see my under eyes are definitely brightened. The Hard Candy Bake Brighten and Setting Powder. This does a really, really good job at um, brightening the under eye because the Kylie concealer is more of a peachy tone and it's not like really brightening. I use the Becca Sun Chaser palette. I just use the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. The lips look a little light for what I was going for, but this is the LA Girl Shockwave eyeliner, well lip liner in the shade Gingerbread. Now this lip liner I really, really would love if it was a little bit deeper. I went in with the Juvia's Place Nubian Earth lipstick in the shade Nubian Sand. I went in with the Nubian Earth by Juvia's Place. This is the Nubian Nude lip gloss that has that like cool tone to it, which I thought would complement the eye look a little bit better than going in with like a pale beigey nude. I wanted cool tone, but dang, it's still really light. Sometimes I just like love buying the big Fiji water I had in the freezer to feel bougie. You can't tell me that you don't feel bougie when you buy one of these. <laughs> like almost $3 for just one bottle of water. I want to get my lip gloss on it. I did not get my lip gloss on it. 
All right, I'm gonna go in the order that I typically use the makeup products in. Colored Rain Paint Base. So this is the eyeshadow base with squalene, which by the way, what is squalene? <laughs> and sodium hyalur hyaluronate. Yeah, that's hyaluronate. It's not hyaluronic, by the way, it's hyaluronate. In the shade Rope, which I think is the second lightest shade, but the shade doesn't matter anyway. It's not gonna affect how the product Forms. If I had to compare it to any type of thick base, I would compare it to something of the P. Louise base because that's a very, very thick base. Now the difference is this one is very, very, very drying right off the bat. It's not something like the Juvia's Place base that's really, really liquidy. You know how you have to shake that one up? No, this is not like a liquidy base that dries down. It's automatically dry. It doesn't say whether or not it's a mattifying base. I mean, I didn't look online to see. I just added it to the cart and bought it because I was like, oh, another base. You have to moisturize your eyes so, so well. Like put a thick, creamy base not a base, but a, a moisturizer on your eyelids to get this to work. Now this could be great for someone with oily eyelids. You definitely will not have to worry about something like that with a primer like this. The only way that I can get this to work is to mix it in with another base. So like I was talking about the Juvia's Place base is really liquidy. If I mix it in with that, then it's fine, but on its own, it's a mess. And I don't think that you should always have to go that extra mile to make a product work to have to mix it in with something else, you know? The only eye products that I have to mention in this video, I take that back, <laughs> the eyeshadow primer that I just mentioned. So these are the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Neons Waterproof Matte Liquid Pigments for Face and Body. This is in the shade Wasabi, the green one, and the yellow one is in the shade UFO. I've been wanting like a neon green type of liner so I can do graphic liners with it. I've been doing it for a while now with these products. I'll insert some pictures so you guys can get an idea of um, the type of looks that I've been using these for. I'm sad because I really, really wanted to like these, especially for $18 a piece. Okay, that's a lot of money for something that um, goes patchy. I will say this. I will not repurchase any of her neon colors because she does have um, a couple of more shades in the neon. She does have these type of color fixes. Has some more matte ones that are more like skin tone friendly, some dewy ones, glossy ones. So I would, you know, purchase those to try them out. I don't know what it is about these neon colors. Even with an, I think it's the LA Girl eyeliner that I have that's a neon green, the part of the neon collection. That one goes patchy in the waterline too. Let me just show you. They start out as a liquid and then it dries down to a matte but it dries down quick it does do pretty well with building them up but again it starts cracking a lot of people talk about you know like purples and stuff like that going patchy but no one ever mentions the greens it's like what is it about the green shades the next product i have is the elf camel cc cream now this one um this can be a little controversial because i feel like there's so many people that like it there are people who don't like it but there are more people that i feel um, raved about how good this product is. Color correcting, full coverage, natural finish, broad spectrum SPF 30. I have mine in a shade at medium 330W. Now the shade is too light for me. Of course, um, I should have got a neutral tone and it definitely should not have been medium 330 anyway. It's too light, but I just grabbed it up when I seen it at Target. I think I told you guys in a video where I actually bought this that I went, I was like, <gasps> Because I've seen it in Target. I've seen it in the section when it first, this is when it first launched. And I was so excited that i seen something that usually, you know sometimes like when you see a product online and then you go to the store and you're like, oh, I don't have it at my store, of course, because, you know, some states get left out. <laughs> yeah, back to what we were saying about the product itself. Sometimes with first impressions, they're not always the best because of you know a few days later or a few more times that you've applied it it may change the way it looks or anything like that could happen my first impressions pretty much have stayed the same on this product since i first applied it to me it sits on top of the skin it doesn't really blend into the skin now obviously it's not going to soak into it but you know you don't always want to look like you're wearing like a mask like there's like a lot of product on the skin i don't necessarily think that it has full coverage per se i think that it's a very thick thick creamy product but it's more so pigmented like you know um 
Fenty Beauty, their matte foundation, when everybody was talking about like it's highly, highly pigmented, like you might want to get your shade when using a product like that because it can pull like really, really yellow or really, really orange. This is how I feel about this product. Like it's more so highly pigmented than it has full coverage because when I apply it on my skin, I can still see, um, you know right here where you kind of crease at? Your crease laugh lines? No, these aren't your laugh lines. These are just creases. I can still see like the darkness where my creases are and I could still see some marks. I'm not wearing this right now. Of course, I already told you what I'm wearing. So I wouldn't necessarily, class necessarily classify this as full coverage. For a CC cream, it probably is full coverage. But as a full coverage product in general, I don't find that it has that type of coverage. It's another one of these types of products where I have to mix it in like this one. Um, if I mix it in with another foundation or uh, I just recently got the Black Radiance Tinted Moisturizer. I've applied it a couple of times. But these two together, this product and the Black Radiance one, it looks so good. On its own, I'm not really feeling it. Water break. <laughs> the next two products, I'm kind of just going to mention them together because they both um, are pretty much the same thing. So this is the Juvia's Place Eye and Magic Concealer. I have mine in a shade 18. Let me make sure this doesn't go everywhere. This is how it looks. And this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Touch Concealer. I have mine in a shade 220. Now I'm showing these together because again, like I said, they're both concealers. They pretty much do the same thing. Both of them, amazing coverage, really nice finish. I think they have more of like a satin type of finish. Very, very creamy, very blendable, but the downside is that they crease so bad. Like as soon as I apply, now let me just say this. <laughs> when it comes to concealer in general, it does not matter which concealer it is. Concealer creases on me. I cannot prevent a concealer from creasing. It does not matter how little or how much or how well I set it. it. does not matter what I blend it out with. It will still crease. But these two, they crease as soon as they go down. As soon as you blend them out. And they crease really, really bad as well. You may get some lines here and there with some other concealers, but these, oh, they just settle into the fine lines like fine wine. <laughs> and I love it. And you know how I know that it's even worse than I thought? I I recently well not recently I think it's been a while I know I say like recently a lot it's like it's been a little while <laughs> that I've been that I bought it but um, I've been using the Laura Mercier translucent honey powder and like I said that one works magic but it could not work no magic for these two I'll try to use them as like you know eyeshadow base more so than concealer because again I don't want something creasing in the lines I Ooh, that'll age you. It's another Fenty. I know it's like, who is she talking about how um uh, how she won't buy another Fenty product? Like, <laughs> you guys know, I'm all about Fenty makeup. So it hurts me to have to mention these products in the video, but it has to be done. Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Banana. This powder has always been dry, <laughs> okay? Bottom line, it's a very, very drying powder. If you have oily skin, this will probably be perfect for you, but this sucks the life out of dry skin. Like, there's there's no reason for this. <laughs> but it still looks good to set around the face. Like, even though I have, like, dry skin right around here, um, I can still set with this, and it'll still look good. As long as it's not a mattifying foundation, then it'll probably look like... The desert my name by the way like I've, I mean I've said it a thousand times but I'll say it again this has 0.98 <laughs> ounces which is 0.02 is it 2 or 0 0.02 0 0.02 ounces away from one fluent ounce which is equivalent to the size of the foundation okay there's a lot of product in here this will last you forever but it'll last me even longer than forever because of how drying it is oh and don't even think about putting these two together. You think this is worse on its own or this is worse on its own? Try to put these two together. <laughs> this is a hot mess. And then the last product I have to mention today, I have the About Face Fix Lip Pencil in the shade Clockwork. I was gonna say in the shade Matte because it says matte right here, which is the problem. I don't think I have it in here with me. Nope, no I don't. But this is a perfect dupe for the, um, about face lipstick in a shade nudish judas if you've seen that one on my channel before 
which you should have because I think I applied it in my previous video. Now I say perfect match because it looks exactly like it when you have them side by side. Mm, I didn't even finish talking about it and I'm putting it back. <laughs> I did not think that when it said matte that it actually meant that it was going to be drying. In that video where I actually um, applied the about face products that I reviewed I said that it was really drying up here and I was like I don't know why because the liquid lipstick itself is not that drying on the lips it's actually pretty comfortable but I was like why is it drying up here I did not realize it was the lip liner I tried to put this lip liner all and even on my skin right now I can see like it you probably you definitely won't be able to see that from there it's showing every little wrinkle on my hand that's how you know how drying this is. I applied it all over my lips. That's when I realized that this was the product that was really drying in that video, not the liquid lipstick. I've never ever had a lip liner that was drying. Like, you know, lip liners are lip liners. You should not really have a problem with the formula. It's more so about, you know, the shade of it because let me get to the shade in a second you shouldn't really have a problem with the formula itself it's just a lip liner but like I was saying about the shade this is actually I think the deepest brown that they go to in lip liners in about face I think the other deeper shades go more like plummy and things like that but I did not want to go that route I wanted a brown so I thought that this was the deepest brown that they offered and like this is not deep enough so I definitely will not be purchasing any any more of their lip liners. That's that's a no-go for me. And see, look at this. Look at when I try to wipe away this lip liner. Look at how it just stays. <laughs> that's how you know just how matte this product is. Like you really have to scrub to get it to go away. It's like stays in place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.